Hello, I am Victor Paredes, I am the product manager of Moho and I want to show you how to use the new styles coming with Moho 14. So uh, I'm going to use the freehand tool and I will just check only uh, auto stroke, all right? So now with the freehand tool, I can hold alt and drag to the right or left to select the, the size of the, of the stroke. So now I can start drawing and this is a normal vector. So when I draw normally, it's just a vector. But if you go to the advanced uh, style window, so I just check here, advanced, you can select here in style one, you can you have several different styles. So for instance, if I select wet ink, I can just draw and you can see the line now has this brush and this style applied to it. All right, so I can draw with wet ink. I can select the next one. I can just draw with this one. So this is still all vector. Uh, I'm just drawing with the styles. You can see the vector points here and you can even edit it, uh, modify the curvature with the curvature tool. You can modify the line width with the line width tool and you can modify the position with the uh, transform points tool. All right, so I can continue drawing with the freehand tool and I want to show you the next style, so you can see this one, it's like a marker, so you can draw with that one, a strong charcoal here, right pencil, so you have several styles that you can use, and these are all using brushes, so if for any reason you don't want to see the brushes uh, on the canvas, you can hide the brushes by clicking here, and now everything works, everything looks like a normal vector, but actually if I render a preview, I still see the brushes applied there, okay? So this is only for preview. If you don't want to preview the brushes or maybe they are taking too much of the performance of the software, you can just hide them here, all right? So let me just continue with that. I have the light pastel and of course I can change the color of the line if I want to draw with a different color. Usually if you click with the left button here, uh, you are defining the fill color and if you right click, uh, you define the line color. So now I'm drawing with purple here. All right, so I will continue drawing with the other styles. So this is pastel and we have it here. And of course I can increase or decrease the size of the brush there. Uh, I have wash here. Uh, let me just show you here. So I can draw with that style now and rough ink watercolor and actually to use the watercolor I think the best way to use it or a good way to use it is to increase the size of maybe not that much maybe that increase the size of the brush but also maybe you can have to modify the the color of the of the stroke but make the opacity very 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 low so maybe here four percent so now I can draw and I can start painting with that okay so maybe it can be even bigger and maybe I can select another color here. So now I'm painting like that. So this is all still vectors. So you can modify the, the point position and everything here. Uh, and let me just select the next style. So the dark core. So you can see this one has a darker, uh, it's a bit darker in the middle. Uh, this this one is nice to texture things. So if you want to texture the borders of of a character or something, you can do that. And then we have the dark core soft, which is similar but a bit softer. So I think it works better in a small way. So anyway, you have styles here. You can create your own styles too. But these are the styles you have available to use from the beginning. Now, one of the advantages of the styles is that you can apply styles to a frame by frame animation. So for instance, I have this file here uh, and I have this frame by frame animation running here. So I can hit play and you can see the frame by frame animation working here. But if I select one of the shapes, so here I'm just select, selecting the stroke here. You can see this, this uh, horse is actually using this style. All right. So that one of the advantages of using the styles is, is that I can edit them after I use them. 
So even if I have the animation done, I can still go to the style here. So I will just go to styles here, select that style, which is this one. And now I can select a different thickness. For instance, if I use this checkbox here, I can increase the thickness of that. And that is going to affect the entire animation. So I can increase or decrease the thickness. I can change the color of the style. So if I, I click on this checkbox here, I can change the color to whatever I want. I can change the opacity also. So let's say I want something like this. And I can even change the brush. In this case, this style is using this brush here, but I can change it to another brush. So let's say I want to use this one, All right? And I can modify the values of the brush too. So maybe I want some something more uneven there. All right, so I press OK, and now the entire horse is moving with this. Okay, so if you draw using a style, it gives you the ability to change everything later. So I have another example here. If I select one of the shapes of this one, it is using this style. So let me show you the animation here. So we have this animation. Uh, and now I can select the style here. And if I click here on this checkbox, now I can change the line width of that style so I can make this thicker or thinner. So I will make it thicker and now the entire animation is thicker. And I can make it thinner too. So I can define whatever I want. Now you can see this in this case, the line, it has two colors, right? But I can set a general color for the style if I click here. I can just set, I don't know, red with some alpha there. So now I have this color. All right, so you can apply styles to frame by frame animation in this case, but you can also apply styles to a rig character or anything. And in this case, the, these styles are modifying the line, but a style could also modify the fill, apply effects and many other things. So. It is a very powerful tool and I recommend you to try it. Thank you for watching. Bye.